Hello mates, morning to you. How you doing? Right, I'm down at Dock End. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's a big ship. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually at the Endeavour replica boat. Here, I'll get out of where you can have a quick look. How's that? Not bad, bit of shadow all over. Anyway, uh, yeah, so we're down at Dock End. I'm down at the Endeavour. I'm going to review this one today. It's a Paul Gotthard snuff. It's a Polish snuff, I believe, and it's rum flavoured. Now, I'm looking forward to this because I've, I've reviewed quite a few of the Paul Gotthard snuffs and I've loved every single one of them. And I'm hoping, well, I know because I've already been trying it out. This isn't going to be an exception. This is a lovely snuff, absolutely glorious. And uh, I'm going to have a walk down Church Street. I'm going to show you a couple of the yards down. Church Street is the old part of town. It's, it's the old Whitby. I'm going to take you down the Cobble Street. Uh, I'll show you a couple of places down there you might be interested. Only a little short video. And then I'm going to uh, get set up and give this a full review. So I uh, hope you can stick with me. And I'll see you in a minute or two as we, as we go down Church Street. I'm probably going to film on one of the... Uh, Probably on the East Pier. Let's see. I'll see you in a minute. Okay. Right, mates. We're on uh, Church Street. This is the old town of Whitby. Here's the uh, the White Horse and Griffin. Must be the smallest pub in the world, but it's a lovely restaurant behind it. Absolutely glorious. And Mrs M's 60th birthday celebrations here in the upstairs in a private dining room. It was rather splendid. Food was excellent. Service was great. Uh, yeah, a lovely night. One to remember. There's a black horse here, lovely old pub, smashing old place. And now we're coming up to what is Whitby's old town hall. This is the market square down here. We'll do a separate review on this at some stage. So there's a market here twice a week. Look at that for a building, eh? This is the uh, real tourist part of town, is this? This is where all tourists come to. When you come for Goth Weekend and stuff, man, you cannot move down here. It's absolutely bouncing. Lots of Whitby Jet shops and all of that type of business everywhere. And I'm going to show you a place called Arguments Yard. We've got a nasty feeling. <laughs> There's some scaffolding covering it all up anyway. Are we going to be lucky or not? Oh, we're going to be lucky. So this is one of the most famous yards in Whitby. They actually, they're actually what, what's called goats. There's one just uh, just by the Whitby Friendship and Rowing Club there, which is called Tin Goat. But this one here is Arguments Yard. No, no, it's fine. You can see it, can we get it? I'm sure we can. So that's Arguments Yard. It relates back to a family who used to live here. It, it was called Thomas Argument. Uh, and then in 1909, the yard was officially named Arguments Yard. About 50 people lived in here at one stage, but I think there's just a couple of cottages in here at the moment. So uh, that's Arguments Yard. This is a nice place, the Wesley Hall. This is Hammond's uh, Jet Museum, and they've got a beautiful uh, Albert's Eatery in there. Absolutely glorious. I might try and do a video in there at some stage, but that should do for now. How long's that? That's a couple of minutes. We'll crack on and we'll get this video uh, video review done. See you in a minute. Right, mates, we're here. I'm actually on Tate Hill Pier. I was going to go up on an East Pier over there, but I couldn't be bothered. <laughs> <coughs> I think I've got a bit of a cold coming on. <coughs> Excuse me, it's absolutely perishing cold. Really. Look at the state of this beard. I need, uh, I've forgotten the clippers with the, the, to be honest, I'm going to have to get some new ones, they're broken anyway. Moustaches and utter disgrace. Anyway, I'm hoping you can hear this all right. We're all in blue. Are we? Yeah, we're all in blue, so we should be in stereo, and I've got a tin of this beauty, and this is what you're here to hear about, I would think. So this is Paul Gotthard Snuff. It's rum. It comes from Poland. I think it's a mix of... Oh, Oriental Virginia and Burley Leaf. That's what it is. And you can smell, as soon as, honestly, as soon as you get your nose all on the hole, you can smell it. And what you also get is a bit of minty tin note. Absolutely glorious. 
Oh, man, I could just smell the hole, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, it's fermented, I think. Fermented. Oriental, Virginia. And Burley, base flower. Seven gram tin. I don't like the tap tins, but hey ho, who cares? You know that. I keep banging on about it. Oh, there's plenty there, isn't there? Can we get that? Look at that. Another little trawler there. There you go. Nice look at it. Let's not mess about. Yeah. It's dark. It's coarse. Yeah, medium coarse. Instant burn. Instant burn. First thing you get, then you get that base flower. God, it's got plenty of vitamin N in it. Oh, goodness me. And then you get this rum and mintiness. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, you know, it's first time snuffing this morning. Oh, my goodness me, that's cleared it all out. Let's do it again. See, try not sneezing this time. I keep getting the sun in my eyes as well, and that sets me off. That's my excuse, anyway. Rum, minty, base flower, absolutely glorious. Great burn on it absolutely sits in the nose keeps on giving 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 and it's gonna have a little bit of a back drip going on with this one you want to get plenty up your nose it's absolutely rock hard as i say i've, I've tried loads of these paul got hard now and i absolutely love them i'm gonna have some more don't care if it blows away it's only a bit it's only a bit of snuff in it so i hope you like that bit about arguments yard I don't need arguments. She had to have an argument with Mrs. M. <laughs> we can do it anyway. <laughs> yeah, we can argue about the most ridiculous things, whether I'm cooking chilli or a cottage pie when my relatives come round at Christmas. <laughs> she wants chilli, I want cottage pie. <laughs> Either way, I'll be cooking it. <laughs> Mates, you've got to try this. It's absolutely glorious. It's cheap as chips. It's Paul Gotthard. It's rum. It's, yeah, it's that uh, trinity of um, Oriental Virginia and Burley-based flowers. It's got loads of vitamin N in it. It's fermented. It's got a great burn on it. And you get that rum and you get that mintiness going on. Sits in your nose. Absolutely. Hangs about. Oh, mate, I absolutely love that. I can't give it another top banana because I'm giving them all top bananas nowadays, but honestly, mates, if you haven't tried Paul Gotthard, try them. If you haven't tried this one, definitely Paul Gotthard rum, give it a go. Thanks for watching, mates. I hope you like the new format of the videos and uh, don't forget, put your comments below. I love to get your comments and uh, don't forget my Simply Snuff Facebook page and all of that uh, baloney. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't think of anything else to say then. <laughs> it's not like me, is it? I better end things there. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you later. Chin chin.